Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, so if I stumble over my words moving forwards, apologies about that, and also if the quality of this video is fairly poor as well, if there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it cannot be helped, and hopefully it is not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision 2023 related video here on my channel, and another sort of reaction video as well, because right now I'm about to listen for the first time to snippets of all of the songs in contention for Denmark with regards to the upcoming edition of the ESC, which as we all know will take place this May in Liverpool in the UK on behalf of Ukraine. As always, there are links in the description to my other social media pages, check them out if you so wish, and do feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff, that is also much appreciated. So I really wasn't expecting anything like this today, I knew we would be getting the Danish songs before the end of the month as we are also getting lots of news from other countries. We're getting the announcement of the Greek participant this month. I think we might be getting some more news from... Well, I've got it in front of me, actually. Uh, Azerbaijan. We've heard nothing from them, but we're getting the artist this month. Um, we're getting Czech songs this month. Uh, yeah, we're getting the Greek artist and song this month, apparently. Yes, indeed. We do know some details there already. Uh, the Moldovan songs are out now, Malta's national final's underway, Finland's national final isn't for a while, but we're getting the songs, we're getting news from Portugal tomorrow as I'm recording this video you're watching now, we might be getting the Serbian songs at some point, we're getting the Slovenian song very soon, Italy's Sound Remo kicks off before you know it, and so on. So much is happening. And as I was saying to my good friend earlier, this really feels like the calm before the storm. Because it seems to me as though next week, certainly, is when things are going to feel very heavy in terms of Eurovision-related content. There's going to be so many songs, so many shows, so many things happening. And if you're a hardcore fan, it will be very difficult to keep track of what's happening when. So, let's talk about Denmark a little bit. Three times winners of the ESC, 1963, with an absolute classic, Dance of Visa by Greta and Jorgen Ingman, ahead of its time, what a gem, first Scandinavian country to win. And then they had to wait decades until the year 2000, when the Olsen brothers triumphed in Stockholm with Fly on the Wings of Love, which is just this great evergreen Eurovision classic. And then Denmark became the first country to win twice this century, with Emily de Forest and Only Teardrops, ten years ago this year. Can you believe that? And that was another Danish victory on Swedish soil. However, the past couple of years, not so great for the Danes. I'm loading it up here. If we take a look uh, over the past few years, OK, ninth place, a top ten result in 2018 in Lisbon with Rasmussen. Leonora also did better than a lot of people thought she would do in 2019. Ben and Tan would have qualified, I'm sure, had the 2020 contest gone ahead. But Firo Flammer failed to qualify in 2021, although under the new voting system that has been introduced for this year's ESC, they would have gone through. And last year, Reddy failed to make the cut in Turin, although I personally really enjoyed the performance and still very much liked the song. Denmark have never gone three years without making the final since the semi-final format was introduced in 2004. So it's a big year for the Danes. Can they get themselves back on track? Thanks to Melody Grand Prix, the tried and tested format is back once again on February the 11th, which is a massive day for Eurovision fans. It is so stacked with national finals. Uh, it's taking place in Maestved, I believe. I think it's the first time DMGP is ever going to be staged there. And eight songs are involved. I've not heard a thing. Although I have seen a thing. Earlier this evening, I saw a tweet. Couldn't help but see it. And it mentioned Denmark. And I thought, oh, okay, it's two women. I'm sure I'll hear something about this down the line. Lo and behold, hours later, here we are. I've got two videos loaded up. One by ESC Silver and one by ESC Can, and I'm about to watch both. They are really short. So obviously what I will do is in my own time listen to these songs in full, and then in a future video I will mention my favourites. However, if you'd like to know my favourites, 
before that video surfaces, the best place to do that is to either keep an eye on my Twitter page or rajc.esc on Instagram, which is the page I co-run with my good friend. That's where you may well be able to see my favourites and other bits and bobs before I talk about it in a YouTube video. So, I'm just going to get my drink because I am feeling a bit bunged up today. Mm. Lovely. Okay, what am I expecting from Denmark? Quality, I expect that from every country. It is my intention to film a video very soon about Finland because they seem to know what they're doing. They have got their formula absolutely nailed on. And other countries could really learn a thing or two from what Finland are doing and the approach to UMK. I just think it's magnificent. Denmark seemed to have stagnated at Eurovision for a number of years. We really don't get much variety in terms of language, perhaps, in terms of genres on offer. You sort of know what you're going to get so far in advance. It's highly predictable. I'm hoping for 2023. It is not that way. Let's find out. Let me know your favourites. The video I'm watching won't be in the bottom corner of the video you're watching, but that's the way it usually is. I'm watching ESC Silver's video first. Their top eight. Bring the quality, Denmark. Come on. Deliver. First up is a really curly-haired individual, Riley. Wow, short snippets. Uh, it's pop. It's fairly up-tempo. Seems quite relaxing to listen to. You've got to have that immediacy. And that's sort of why I make these videos in the way that I make them. Because I like to just get a little hint as to the full song. And if it's really impressing me in the space of about 10 seconds, I know which songs I'm going to gravitate to towards first, if you see what I mean. Okay, uh, yeah, this is a pop song, and it seems okay. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Mickey Skeel. Glansbillida. Hmm. Okay, this is a pop song with just a hint of country to it. Oh yeah, clap along. Come on everybody, join in. It's that sort of track. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. But exactly the th sort of thing you would expect from Denmark. Next, bit of rock. Hello, Niklas Sonne with Freedom. Sounds a bit like Nickelback. A slightly heavier Nickelback, perhaps. Oh, wow. Well. Bit of guitar shredding. Well, I like rock music, and that's ticking quite a few of the right boxes for me. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That could be great live. I'll tell you something. Oh, yeah. This is not a bad batch so far. Soren Lund. Lierherr. Okay, this is super chilled out, minimal instrumentation, just this sort of synth pulse underneath the lyrics. Uh, I feel like that's quite romantic somehow, perhaps. Can't say I'm totally enthralled. Frederick Leopold is next. Slick looking guy, stuck on you. Oh. Okay, it's quite uplifting, quite feel good. This is totally box standard, fairly contemporary chart friendly stuff. 
It's like the sort of song Teos would have in Melfest, or sort of like the song he had in Melfest last year. That sort of happy-go-lucky, playing-it-quite-safe vibe. Can't, wow, get a look at this person here. Um, yeah, Frederick, was that his name? Yes, uh, it's okay, but it's not the best. Who is this? Maria Leiberg. That's the best so far. Uh, a woman with massive hair, a uh, big tattoo on her arm. It's a little bit folky. Seems like there might be some sort of ukulele there in the background, not entirely sure. Yeah, okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Beautiful Bullshit by Maya Maya. Maya Maya. Pop song. Seems like a very good vocalist. Well, uh, that's also not too bad. Not bad. <laughs> oh yeah, that could easily win this. And number one. I was gonna marry him. Hey, ya. Yeah, this is the picture I saw on Twitter earlier. Wow, such a short snippet. It's quite mid tempo. I think I'll have to watch the other video here. Uh, but straight away, I would say that this is an okay match. It's really just okay. There's nothing here in these very short snippets. Suggesting that Denmark are going to win and it's going to be Copenhagen 2024. I think we can rule that out immediately. But there's at least three, if not four or five, out of the eight songs here uh, that seem to be doing the business for me at the moment. ESC Cam, what have you got? Mickey, that's not bad. Really not bad. Frederick, I'm afraid, I don't think you're quite at the level. Oh. Maria with Human. I really quite like the sound of that one, which means it will have no chance of winning the national final. <laughs> That's usually the way. It's like Saluna Same a little bit. 2012 all over again. Just a little bit. Soren. This sounds like Denmark's 1957 entry. Skibet Skalseili Nat. The way that snippet started there, it was just the same. Uh, it's old fashioned. Uh, but not in a bad way. I don't know why I'm writing his name down. That's not the song Denmark should be sending. Nicholas, yes. Mm, mm, Abbott. Yeah, that's good stuff. Riley. Oh, uh, that's okay. That's okay. Aya. Oh, super short, man. I know there's a longer snippet on Twitter. I'll just have to listen to that. But yeah, that, that does have a little bit of promise. And then, Maya Maya. Maya Maya. Oh yeah, it's okay. Um, seems as though a lot of people in the comments are very indifferent. I think Nicholas with Freedom. Is that the rock one? My memory's all over the shop. Yeah. NQ This Year. That's it. Nice and positive, everybody. Well, I really like that song by Maria. Human. I really like that. That might end up being my favourite. Don't mind the sound of Maya Maya. Maya Maya. My apologies. I don't know how to pronounce it. 
and Nicholas. On the whole, though, another messy video. But not bad. Not a bad batch. Denmark aren't winning this year, but I'm not underwhelmed like a lot of people might be. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this DMGP lineup? Who's going to be flying the flag for the Danes a decade after their last win in Liverpool this May? Let me know what you think and check out the links in the description to my other social media pages if you so wish. Hopefully the quality wasn't too bad and I'll be back with more Eurovision related content very soon. In fact, right now I've got another Finnish song to listen to. I'm sure that'll be another top quality track as well. Until next time, take care of yourselves, stay safe, apologies for the messiness and bye for now.